and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of all three of the original KKW Kimoji Heart Perfumes. Um, that's Ride or Die, BFF, and Bay. So these perfumes launched last year and were like the second um, like uh, collection from Kim Kardashian when she went to just doing like KKW fragrances. Um, so I'm gonna get, kind of just go through them real quick. I will say that I do prefer these ones over the previous, like the new ones that she just released. These ones are definitely a little bit more up my alley. All three of them are very similar. They all have a very like candy or sweet type scent to them. Kind of reminiscent of like Ariana Grande's Sweet Like Candy or even like Viva La Juicy. Um, but they all are very different and unique in their own way. So let's dive into them. So, first up is Bay, and Bay is a blue one. It has notes of bergamot, juicy mandarin, kiwi flower, jasmine sandback, gardenia, coconut water, whipped vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. So, out of the three, I would say this one is probably my least favorite. I know it's actually a lot of other people's favorite, but it's just personally not the one I tend to wear the most out of them. Um, I definitely do get kind of that whipped cream... You get a little bit of coconut water, kind of adding a little bit more creaminess to it. But I get, like, the kiwi. You get kind of a little bit of a floralness, but it's not super, super floral. Like, you definitely get, like, in my opinion, the kiwi really stands out. And so does the mandarin. Like, you can definitely smell the mandarin. Um, but, like, it is really, like, a kind of a very soft, like, soft, um... We're going to say soft again because I can't really think of any other word. Um, it's very creamy. It's very su slightly sweet, but it's not like candy or like hard sweet. This is very like white and creamy and like it's just a very, very pretty one. It does have this like light berry fruitiness underneath of it, which you can kind of smell. But other than that, this one doesn't uh, kind of develop a whole lot out of the three of them. But that's kind of why it's my least favorite. So next up is BFF, and this one has notes of wild berries, pink currant, star apple, pink rose, jasmine sandback, pear blossom, cedarwood, marshmallow, vanilla, and musk. So like, this one is the one that's probably the most similar to Sweet Like Candy out of the three of them, but still it's very different. Um, you get kind of like a slight berry undertone with this heavy dose of like vanilla or cream over top of everything. The heart notes, like those floral hearts, kind of just add a pretty perfuminess to it. But, like, you really are getting kind of those berries in the top and that, like, vanilla and musky base. This one is the most, like, candied like. Um, it does kind of have a, like, hard candy note to it, but it's still very creamy and still very fluffy, kind of like how Bay is. So, the last one is Ride or Die. And the notes for this one are Mandarin, Luscious Blackberry, Juicy Purple Plum, um, Gardenia, Night Blooming Jasmine, Raspberry Nectar, Vanilla Cream, Caramel Swirls, and Tonka Bean. Hands down, this one is my favorite. I love this one. This one has this weird, like, kind of grapey note to it. It really honestly smells, when you first spray it or even when you catch whiffs of it, you get, like, reminiscent of, like, Hubba Bubba Grape Gum. Like, it definitely has that vibe to it. But it also kind of has a similar vibe to Viva La Juicy underneath of it. Like, this one... I would say is the closest to Viva La Juicy, and there were times where, um, when I wore this that I thought, I was, like, I thought people around me were wearing Viva La Juicy just because I would catch, like, a drag of it or a whiff off of it, and, like, it does have a similarity or a similar dry down, at least, to Viva La Juicy, but it does have this really, like, pretty purple note on there that it really does smell like grape, but it's still very fruity and very fun, um, and it's kind of just like a simpler, slightly grapey version of Be Blue Juicy. Definitely my favorite one out of all of them, and I would like to get another one of these eventually just so I can wear this even more. Because this one is just so unique out of the other two. And I really, really like that weird grapey note, even though it's not technically a note in here. Even though it's like blackberry and plum. It still smells like grape. I promise it's so, so, so good. Um, all three of them do have, like, very similar lasting power. I will say that this does last longer than the other three. Um, but they do have all very similar lasting power. And unfortunately, with a little bit of a difference of this one, um, they all don't really change a whole lot either. They're all very linear scents, and they do kind of just, like, 
hang out. Um, not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Some people don't want a ch fragrance that changes a whole lot. So if that's you, these are definitely a really good pick-me-up. I don't know if they're still available. Um, I know that they were exclusive to um, kkwfragrance.com. They didn't put these ones in Ulta like they did the new ones. You can get the new ones online at Ulta now, which kind of sucks because if you were like me and hopped on the bandwagon super, super quick to get them when they first launched, then there was no point because now they're at Ulta and you can get them whenever. So, but there you guys go. There is my review of all three of the original KKW Heart Fragrances. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A Best Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. Links in the description below. And stay tuned till next Thursday because this upcoming Thursday, I do have a whole brand new video and it is going to be a list video and I'm extremely excited for this one. So I hope you guys watch it and I can't wait to see you. Bye-bye.